surveys of students' reactions is that since finding and working with an advisor is so important here in planning for give to give free, um, the, the frequency of sabbaticals definitely has an impact on um, the experience of, of students, not all every time, but many, many times in being able to put together a committee and then continue working with them as they play. Um, course relief policies. Um, what are they? Um, let's look at them again. I say us, I mean primarily the of fact in the school deans. Are they justified as part of the overall investment? It's all part of the cost of instruction. <coughs> Division one requirements are constantly being looked at. Uh, advising um, the faculty already made certain moves that allow five college faculty to participate in some way on those committees. Are there other things that one would want to do? I mean, it's, it's again, at the risk of repetition, what I'm putting up here is one set of dials, you will discover others that can be turned that might change the total cost of instruction. I put up narrative evaluations because we know this is one of uh, the great workload factors at Hampshire very sensitive. That's also, I think, one of our calling cards uh, and something I'm very proud of. Um, we will look at this. We have to look at that and consider is other ways in which they can be streamlined to be both more helpful to students and possibly reduce the workload. Um, I think we're going to have to be prepared. I, I put up EPEC courses. Um, I've been involved myself as uh, not so much an advisor, but I guess, what does one say, a uh, uh, approver of, of, of an EPEC overseer or something like that. Um, in many, many schools, courses like this are permitted to count, um, and up to a certain degree, it's my understanding that it's very limited the way they can count here, um, without giving up any part of our important supervisory role. Can, can that be looked at? Is that a possible way? of allowing more of the work, and very much in the spirit of the founding of Hampshire College, allowing more of what we're counting as student progress to be handled in that way. Um, by governance, uh, I refer to the amount of time that faculty members above all spend on governance committees. As we know, there's a governance review itself going on, but I think that when we consider the total cost of instruction, um, the degree to which so many people are so involved in so many processes um, that has to be considered as part of what we're investing our money in. And the question is, is that the best way to invest it uh, in terms of helping our students? And finally, portalization. Um, this is a funny word that, that I'm currently uh, enamored of. It'll probably run its course and die. But by it, I only mean to suggest, and I'll, and I'll say a little bit more about it, um, an aspect of Hampshire and its business plan, so to speak, that was there from the start, which was Hampshire is not only a faculty set of interdisciplinary schools offering courses and paths of study, but it is not thinkable, it was not created without the five colleges. From the very beginning, Hampshire is also the portal to the offerings and the resources of the five colleges. What more can we do to make that work? Believe me, all the five college directors are eager to advance on that front. And also, are there, given the new technologies, um, yet more resources that we can be portals to? Every school is doing that. And would that be part of the mix in figuring out how we can see to it that each one of our students has a remarkable education that we're deeply involved in but that could perhaps um, involve a less per student cost of investment because in the end, that's what it comes down to. So these are some dials. I'm, I know there'll be plenty of talk about every one of them. Okay, now, I, I, here's part of reality. And again, remember, no fault, no blame, just my honest reaction. When I came to Hampshire uh, and scanned the administrative world, that presented itself to me. Uh, I had to conclude, I took my time, because I, I always want to uh, believe in the best, that um, we were a set of systems that were largely broken. Uh, we had lots of good people, and 100% of 
well-meaning people, but as systems, many of them had been um, poorly organized, uh, underfunded for so long that in terms of being able to run the college and help faculty and students focus on what they need to do, which is also involving them in processes, um, we were in a pretty starry, sorry shape. Uh, I think what I focused on much more than I anticipated when I got here was a systematic um, turning around of the college, and by that I mean the administrative areas for the moment, um, system by system. And, uh, let, and, and since I was speaking to this back to the board, I want to just do a quick review of, of what we've accomplished so far and where we are in our next steps. Um, <coughs> I, I, I was really intrigued by a sentence of Alan Goodman's letter to the faculty when he was talking about governance. And as I think he put it, um, it's, it's our ability to change. Uh, the fact that we do need to respond and, and meet these challenges, um, that's clear. Um, but one of the things that you have to be able to do is to guide change, is to interact and actually have the levers to reset the machinery. That's, that's a sort of mechanistic view of it. I don't think of people as machines, but I do think of organizations sometimes that way, the way we're organized. And I think, um, I think constantly of what, it, what we need uh, in order to evolve and to keep changing and remain strong and powerful. Um, one of the things, and this is largely done, but the work always goes on, one is never done, in clarifying the areas of responsibility and accountability. Um, Hampshire staff, students, and faculty are all very, very eager to take up and do work. There's no question. Um, I see this all the time. And no institution can survive by people who insist only that's not my job. However, what was peculiar about Hampshire, I found, was that um, Sometimes you, you, you discovered that this had gone a little bit too far, and people didn't even know what their job primarily, what their primary responsibilities were. So a, a lot of that has been, a lot of time and effort may seem trivial, um, but it's not. It's been spent in clarifying that, and also um, using accountability. Um, in a way, it's efficient. Um, when there's a problem, when you need to do something wrong, if if someone reports to four people, you can't do a thing. Um, if someone reports to one thing and a decision has been made, you actually can expect to see it get done. Uh, we've made great strides in that. Um, professionalism and execution. This, these are, again, uh, elements that we continue to work on. Um, I never want to, and I do not think, it's a, a deep value for me, that this makes us any less human, less friendly, um, but I think there's a sense of self-respect about this is my job, really looking at it as something I want to do, what knowledge do I need to discharge my responsibility, how can I bring that to bear, how can I be professional and collegial with my colleagues, how can I separate the business from whatever personal business, quote unquote, is going on at the time. Let's get the job done and let's also be very clear about execution. It, um, what is it, what is the deadline, who's going to lead the team or be the one to report back? Um, this, these are things we have to um, keep working on. We've again come an enormous distance so that we can get things done. Um, again, at the risk of repeating myself, I think the opening of college this year, the welcoming of students was a prime example of people who actually with joy and exhibiting joy um, exhibited professionalism and execution. Um, data integrity. Now this is not what I would have, have predicted, but again and again I have been sorrowly um, confronted with the fact that sometimes we've been tripping over ourselves because we don't have good data. Um, again, in virtually no case that I can think of was this a case where someone was trying to um, change the data, do anything like that. But 
In some cases, we had underinvested in systems, or we had underinvested in the personnel who had the skills to use